be the plan, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Be the plan, that's what they call me. What up, though? It's your boy, Foreman. We back with another Madden Head-to-Head Ranked Mansion. Before we get started, I want to give a shout-out to my guy, Frosty, for submitting his yickums of the day. I had to mute the audio because he had music playing in the background, and I couldn't risk getting the video demonetized, Frosty, because I'll fire on you if it do, cuz. Now, it wasn't necessarily the yickums that got him. It was the stick work to take it for a pick six. Now, for all of you guys who want the shout-out, you already know, you got to follow your boy, on Instagram, form underscore aka underscore to me. Submit your clips to me, DM them to me for a shot at the Yickums of the day. Now we running with them Ravens, but somebody uh I want to say it was a, a few weeks ago actually proposed this challenge and I just didn't get around to doing it. But it was the Ravens no Lamar challenge. So running with the backup who just so happened to be my guy rg3 so that's what y'all getting today now we're gonna come out running the ball just to see where his run d at and get the game flow going and then after that it's it's rg3 time baby we throwing we trying to throw nothing but dotties now rg3 used to be a straight beast when he came in especially with them red skins but a lot of people don't know that boy rg3 messed around and got that bobby brown jaw and, and for y'all who don't know that's that real loose jaw that come from sniffing on that booger sugar. Yeah, as he hits the nice corner route on the dotty, as he tried to send heat at your boy, which is a no-no. Yeah, he had, he had the Bobby Brown jaw from from all from being on that stuff. And that that's the real reason. A lot of people don't know that. That's the real reason that RG3, you know what I'm saying, fell off like that. Because you can't play football. Why you on that crack? Because it messed with your bones and the muscles. You know what I'm saying? For a while, all RG3 could throw was like three, four-yard drag routes because he was on that stuff. As we break a big one with that boy Hill, and we take it home, Dilly on, as my boy Duke the Killer used to say. But, yeah, so now back on defense, you already know we about to clamp up on that run, force you to pass, and then we going into Yickum City. Trying to get my boy RG3 back on the field as quick as possible just so I can see what he like. Now, if you guys got any other challenges for your boy, drop them down in the comment section. And uh, sooner than later, your boy going to get to him and try to bang him out. I, I fire on anybody who got a Dolphins challenge. No, you know what? Not Dolphins. Ravens challenge. Raiders. You know what I'm saying? I need a, I need a challenge that's hard but not impossible. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of y'all, my subs, don't really love the Lord like that. So y'all going to give me these hard chances. Oh, no, play with John Madden. You know what I'm saying? Fat guy who used to be on the cover of the game, sub him in. Nigga, not even in the game. But a lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying, y'all cut like that. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't go to church and y'all don't love the Lord. So right here, he coming out in that pistol bunch, which is different from, uh, I guess, the pistol. Well, actually, it is very different from the pistol bunch that I in. But we don't care because we finna bag it up. Excuse me, Yickums, I need that. And we're not going to run it back. Uh-uh. We're going to go down because it's time for the Bobby Brown jaw to go to work. As you see, we're going straight to that tight offset tight end. Ain't no running on first down. We got to see if RG3 is clean or not. We got to know if he off that stuff. And the only way we can do that is if we let this thing fly. Now, of course, you know what I'm saying, because the backup was RG3, it did make it a lot easier because even though his stats is trash, he does got 85 speed, so he got a little bit of mobility on me. But we don't care about that mobility because we in this pocket and we throwing hot dotties. I see him one-on-one. -on -one. You can't you can't go one-on-one -on -one with Hollywood. Uh, catch that hot dotty. And I told you guys before, all of you guys who want to throw that streak, if you pass lead the streak to the outside shoulder, you'll be able to create way more separation than just throwing a regular streak. So y'all use that tip. Shut up. It's working. You just synced it. So right here, my boy want to send Mo heat, but you can't send heat at RG3 because he was on that stuff. So that pressure, that don't bother him. He's standing tall and he delivering the hot dotties. You can't mess with people who on that stuff, man, or who was on that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, these is just, you know what I'm saying? I heard this on a rumor mill from my guy. So, you know what I'm saying? 
just cause so we don't get, you know what I'm saying, no trouble. This is hearsay. Y'all can't see me because I ain't got no video cam, but y'all know what I'm doing with my hands. This is hearsay, y'all. This is what my people's had told me what were popping out here in these mad streets. So it's my job to relay the info back to y'all. But right now, RG3 looking clean. He looking clean out here. Throwing hot dotties while he getting sacked. We running it up on that boy. Now, I know he probably, my man's Akai probably looking like, dog, what type of food? Run with the Ravens with no RG3. It's a fool who got skills to pay the biz ills. As I like right here was making me mad. Now you'll see him go to this two or three times. And I set up my D for the cover three beater. But somehow this slow Negro Alshon Jeffrey with the 42 speed kept. Oh, okay. I see why well, he kept beating Earl Thomas on the post route. And I even put. Uh, Jimmy on a, a deep half to play it better, but he kept getting caught. Now, luckily for us, we had hands all in that bum Carson Wentz face, so he couldn't get a clean throw off. But for some reason, man, he kept running past him. And all y'all know, Alshon Jeffrey ain't got no burners like that, famo. So he shouldn't be running nobody over. Well, running past nobody. That's a possession receiver right there. Now, if I ever catch him in these streets, I'm going to let him know what he did to me this game. And I'm going to be like, oh, man, look at this puppy that's laying down there in the alley. And as soon as he turn his head, I'm going to fire on him. And I'm going to get ghosts. Because people like that usually got large security. And I don't got time to be getting jumped out here in these streets. Because it's going to end up on Worldstar. I'm going to lose half my subs. And your boy only got 2,200 subs. So I can't afford to do that. Now, once your boy gets to about 100,000 of them things, then, you know what I'm saying, maybe I could lose about 1,000 subs and I wouldn't be tripping. But I can't afford to be on Worldstar 1 because I'm a role model to the kids. You know what I'm saying? I done told the kids, uh, don't watch the XXX. You know what I'm saying? Here's, here's another gem for the kids. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people probably never told y'all this. It's going to be our first time hearing it. Stay off drugs. Huh? You see that? Before I'm all about the kids, man. I love the babies. And that's why I'm giving y'all this, this tidbit of info. A lot of people don't want to tell y'all that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to end up like RG3? Low key. RG3, if he was on the drugs, he on the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? He on the stuff that got him to the NFL. I do them drugs. I just don't want the Bobby Brown jaw. You know what I'm saying? And for all of y'all who don't know what that is, go look up the Bobby Brown jaw. The Bobby Brown jaw, real loose. It move a lot. You know what I'm saying? When he talk, it's like, it's like y'all ever played with a skull when y'all was in school? Like science class? It was always the skull when you walked in there. The little butt naked skull who was all raw dogging out here with the nakedness out. And then y'all always moved that jaw up and down. And as soon as you moved it up, it would always drop right back down. That what the Bobby Brown jaw is. And it come from doing that stuff. And if y'all don't know what that stuff is, I can't tell you. As, ooh, that boy, see? See, that's what happened with you on that stuff. You missed these throws. And that's why old Unc Form telling y'all stay off the drugs now we ain't saying rg3 is currently on no drugs ain't nobody saying that you know what i'm saying why y'all trying to get my video reported i never said that i'm telling you you know what i'm saying the hearsay visa v you know what i'm saying what my man who was out here in these streets had told me uh dotty send pressure we got hot dots rg3 is out here balling rg3 ain't on that stuff you know what I'm saying? If he was back in the day, he off. You know what I'm saying? Once you stay off the stuff for a while, your jaw work start to heal up. You know what I'm saying? And this is just, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't even be telling y'all this. You know what I'm saying? I could get in trouble for, to, for, for you know what I'm saying, breaking news to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I be out here in these Madden streets. You know what I'm saying? I'm like the Jaworski. Hey, what's the, what's the name of the dude? Look at these hot dotties as he getting thrown to the ground. You know what I'm saying? His skin is made of steel, y'all, because allegedly he might have been on the stuff back in the day. So he made a steal out here. So he can throw the hot dotties. Lamar who, cuz? Lamar who? Say Lamar and get fired on. 
Lamar don't exist right now. It's all about RG. He looking like the RG his rookie year with the Redskins before he towed that knee work up. The boy, a lot of people don't know, he was at the he was at the gym. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, he was at the park on the jungle gym. You know what I'm saying? On the monkey bars. And then a little kid, look, he was about six, seven years old. And he did a flip <coughs> off the monkey bars. And RG2 was like, oh, I could do that. And the boy was like, boy, shut up. You too grown to be on these monkey bars. You know what I'm saying? And RG3 tried to get on, ooh, break it for another tub. And RG3 tried to be grown out here in these streets and get on the monkey bars and do the flip. But he didn't even realize the monkey bars was only about four, five feet off the ground. That's why the little boy was able to do it. Negro, you like six feet tall. So as so soon as he did the little flip, hit that neck work on the bump, monkey bars and then towed that knee work up on the ground. And he was laying there crying, and then nobody tell nobody at first because you were grown up. So first we got to laugh at you first, and then they called it mama. And then he was like, "Oh, don't call my mama, come and get in trouble." Because at the time when RG three had first gotten the league, famo, he was still living with his mama. He wasn't playing no bills in the house. Boy was just going out there playing foosball with no responsibilities. Pause this, yickums. Let me have that, fam. With no response back to the to the story, with no responsibilities, and he was at the park because his mama told him to clean up his room before he went to practice, and he tried to sneak out and go play on the jungle gym, so he got what he deserved. Now, now that my boy back in the NFL, back with D Ravens. We trying to see if he still got it, cause you never know, you know what I'm saying? The NFL team dot, the NFL team might be like, you know what? I was on YouTube, and I just typed in Madden 20, you know what I'm saying? And a guy came up named Form, and I watched this video, and he had, and RG3 was out there looking good. He was running, he wasn't running, he was in the pocket throwing dotties, and I feel like he would be a great addition to this team, and we want to give him an opportunity to start. Look at the dotty, y'all. And then RG3 get him a little starting job. Huh? Win him a Super Bowl, become the MVP all because of my video. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, that video did get a lot of views and all and they better have watch my ads. You already know I don't play about my ads. Watch them. The noodles, you know what I'm saying? Flat tummy tea, uh the tan pack. I need y'all to watch all of them. Netflix and chill. Hey, 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 that's what they used to call me back then in the streets, y'all. Mr. Netflix and chill. Yeah. Oh, for all the young kids, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry about what that means. Don't do drugs and go to school. Hmm? Messages to live by. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I'm about, empowering the youth. But for all my, for my, for my people of age who know, what y'all know about that Netflix and chill, huh? Your boy was out here Netflix and chill in these streets. They call me Young Netflix. Huh? Come through. What you want to watch? Oh, I don't know. We can just watch something on Netflix. All right. Let me turn on this little boring movie that ain't interesting. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Don't worry about what I'm saying, young kids. Y'all just watch this video. Y'all watch RG3 get this work. Don't worry about what Uncle Forum talking about. Stay out of grown folk business. Huh? Ain't, ain't that what your mommy used to say when you were young? Stay out of grown folk business. Come here, Carson. We need to talk to you. Now, as y'all can see, the vid coming to an end because we clapped his cheeks with RG3. RG3 still got it. As I yick him, let me hold that one more time. Now, like I told y'all, for all of you who got, you know what I'm saying, more challenges for your boy, Drop them down in the comment section. I will get to them challenges at my earliest convenience. You know what I'm saying? If y'all got another idea, drop that for your boy. You know what I'm saying? We currently got the longest win streak in Madden this year at 76 games. Let's go. Appreciate.